What's up guys, Josh here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Cascadia Talos 2. This is a, one of the few T50 mods that I have coming up. Wednesday I will have a review of the ZMF Classic T50 mod, and uh, I already have a review of the uh, Modhouse Argon T50 mod. And on Friday, I'm actually going to have a comparison between all three because they all come in at about the same approximate price. And we're gonna go ahead and run through um, which ones I like for which reason. And if you're interested in those comparisons in those upcoming videos, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned. Now I'm doing the Talos first uh, because honestly, I like it the least of all of these. And I'll talk more about why in comparison to the other ones in the actual comparison video. But it's actually not a headphone that I enjoy at all, actually, which is a little bit unfortunate. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into build like always. So the build quality is standard kind of T50 mod. It's got a headband strap, different pads. This one actually has a paint job, which uh, I, I can't decide if I like it or if I don't like it. It's this weird like kind of poured out copper looking material. It almost looks like like an old school, like Roman bronze or something like that. Uh, but I do have to commend one massive part of Cascadia Audio is their pads here. Uh, their pads are simply for build quality and feel, they're exceptional. I mean, they, they look insane, they feel just as good. Now on the actual part that touches your head, they have a microfiber as well as on the inside of the ring that touches your ear. Although it's got a pretty big hole, so I think most people's ears are gonna fit in here. And then uh, the outside, I think, is genuine leather. Uh, either way, the pads are really, really good. The headband is comfortable and a lot better than the stock headband. They have like a couple little uh, sticker type things that they stuck on here, and then they modified the uh, the port for it. I've obviously done a little bit of internal work to make these uh, sound the way that they want them to sound. Okay, so regarding power, the only spec that they have is that these are still 50 ohm headphones, which I think is, is consistent with stock. Regarding the sound pressure level though, I, I don't have a guess. I don't know exactly because I don't know specifications. Perhaps if I find them online after filming this, I'll put them in the description down below. Uh, but they do require a lot of power. Okay, so sound quality. And I mentioned that I was not really a big fan of these. And for me, the problem is, is that it starts right at the top. At the treble, it's just way, way, way too hot for me. I can't really get a good filled out mid-range and a filled out bass response because I am just compensating with volume to get rid of the peaks that come with this headphone. Um, it's super sibilant. It's super like the, the treble, even on songs that aren't treble intensive, like some of the more modern pop songs that, that tend to have the dynamics of the treble fairly reduced. I don't know how to describe it other than just saying it's annoying. Like it's constantly present. It's just this super crisp, almost crunchy sound just constantly coming at you. And it's really, really hard and, and kind of difficult for me to deal with. And uh, which is a bit unfortunate because uh, the mid-range tonality and the bass response on here, I feel like could be good. And if I compensate with EQ and bring down the treble a lot, like a lot, a lot, like everything between 2K and about 15K, I have to drop down like anywhere between five to 10 decibels. It's just a lot of work to do to get this to sound even tolerable. I'm not trying to say this to be mean. I'm just trying to bring you kind of my honest experience with this thing. Um, it was very hard to judge mid-range and bass response because I, I couldn't really get them to a filled out sound to be able to listen to them properly. Now I did with EQ, but not everybody's gonna do that. And I don't recommend everybody do that. I don't think even with EQ, this is a headphone that is worth it. Mid-range is good. It's got pretty good presence in the vocals. Uh, the vocals for like vocal specific music, like acapella music, um, where it's just straight up singing. Uh, the treble actually finishes off the vocals very, very nicely. It's just when you throw in other instruments, snare, uh, cymbals, uh, violin, anything that has a pretty heavy dependence on the treble regions, it's just killer on here. Uh, there is a bit of sibilance for the vocals though. That's a little bit unfortunate to see. And the bass response is nice. It does have a decent amount of bass response. Uh, these T50 mods definitely are capable, as we know from the Argon, of producing just a stupid amount of bass response. This is a little bit dry compared to the other two being the classics and the Argon, uh, but still a respectable amount of bass and not something that I feel like people would kind of feel lacking in any way. But I guess it depends on what you're coming from, what you're used to. So soundstage and imaging is, uh, imaging is very good. One complaint I have with the soundstage though is that things are kind of either in the middle or far right and far left. Uh, it doesn't really have this immersive soundstage experience, which is something that you can really get with the T50 um, and with pads that are 
this big. Pads like this generally have a really big impact on soundstage, sometimes for, <laughs> for better, sometimes for worse. Uh, this is still a pretty tight headphone compared to some of the others. And this does sound somewhat wide, but I keep coming back to the issue with the treble. And I'm gonna try and keep this review relatively short because uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. Um, I found the listening experience in stock formation without EQ to be just very unenjoyable. Um, I don't really think this is a good value over some of the other uh, T50 mods. I gotta be honest with my findings here. I'm not a huge fan of these. So this is gonna be a pretty big pass for me. So uh, I wanna send a huge thank you to the gentleman who sent that and the, the other T50 mods out. We're gonna have more videos in the future as well as the Ori and the Blackwoods. So these next few days should be a lot of fun. Uh, thanks very much to the patrons for the constant and continuing support of this channel to help make what I do possible. You guys kick some serious ass. If you wanna join the Patreon to get early access videos exactly like this one, there's a link in the description down below. Until the next video, guys, my name's Josh, signing off.